In this edition of Wine and Wildlife, we're exploring three African countries, Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. The adventure begins in Cape Town, South Africa. We arrive a couple of days early to recover from the long flight from Seattle. We relax and wander around the V&A waterfront, but we save the real exploration for later. Back at the Cape Town airport, we board our flight to Windhoek, the capital of Namibia. The land below changes rapidly from the green of Cape Town to the brown of Namibia. We clear customs in Windhoek. Then we board our Wilderness Air Cessna 406 Caravan 2. We're flying to Umbika Airstrip in northern Namibia. The land below is flat, dry, and empty. At Umbika, we meet our guides and they take us to Ngava Lodge. Ngava Lodge is located in the Ngava Game Reserve along the southern border of Itosha National Park. We settle into our rock and thatch chateaus, which are very comfortably appointed. The view from the chateau includes a small water hole, which is very popular with the local animals. We relax and take our meals in the main lodge, which offers a expansive view of the landscape. And of course, we're very well fed. The main reason for visiting this part of Namibia is to see Etosha National Park. First impressions of Etosha are how big, flat, and inhospitable it seems. The park covers 8,600 square miles. At the heart of the park is the Etosha Pan, a 75 mile long dry lake bed. The surrounding savanna is home to thousands of mammals and birds. All of Southern Africa is in the third year of a devastating drought. In Atosha, the already fragile ecosystem is kept alive with water provided by wells that fill the natural water holes. Each one seems to have its own clientele. This one's popular with springbok. But they're willing to share with zebra and their big cousin, the gemsbok. While their smaller cousin, the steenbok, rests in the shade. This water hole is called elephant's bod, Afrikaans for elephant's bath. It's the wide variety of species that can be seen all together in one place that makes Atosha unique. While the large mammals dominate the water holes, a large variety of birds make Atosha their home. The Angava Game Reserve used to be unproductive farmland, but it's been rehabilitated to be a 74,000 acre natural conservancy. The area is primarily a Mopani woodland. The Mopani drop their leaves in times of drought. The green trees on the hill have tapped into an aquifer. The Moringa tree is another drought resistant plant. 
Its seed pods are eaten as vegetables, and its leaves are used for herbal medicine. The Ngava Reserve is home to both the black rhino and the white rhino, and they always have the right of way. In order to maintain the rhino population in this drought, the Conservancy supplements the rhino's diet with hay. The Mopani are a favorite of giraffes. Elephants are responsible for pruning the Mopani into shrubs. Zebras are at home here too. The black-faced Impala's range is limited to southwest in Angola and northern Namibia. Steenboks stand 20 inches tall at the shoulder. Kudus are one of the largest antelope. A kudu cow can weigh over 400 pounds. And where there are antelope, there will be predators. Here that means lions. And this old guy must be the patriarch of the local pride. So when he falters, there are young ones to take over. As predators go, jackals are pretty, and jackal pups are really cute. These pups have been left home alone while their parents go hunting for dinner. As in Atosha, many birds have found a home in Angavi Reserve also. One afternoon, we decide to sit in the hide by the water hole and see what comes by. At first it was the resident turtle and a few birds. Then the action started with a single black-faced impala, followed by a batch of springbok. And for the grand finale, it was a mother rhino and her yearling calf as it started to rain. On our last morning in Ungave, we did a little birding around the lodge while we waited for our plane. As we loaded our bags into the safari vehicle for the trip to the airstrip, the rock hyraxes came out to say goodbye. At Umbika airstrip, our plane is waiting to take us to our next destination. <laughs>